Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me and today I have a beautiful design team project to share with you guys for Angel Dream Crafts. And again, Angel Dream Crafts is a store on Etsy. It's owned by Kim. She sells beautiful laces and trims, blings, appliques, doilies, items for our junk journals, just to name some of the items. And if you open up my description box, I do have a link for her store if you have never visited it. I highly recommend it. Again, she just has some fabulous laces. And I do know that she has just restocked some, some items that she's carried in her store. And she also has some new items that she's never had in her store. So a very fun shop to browse in and shop from. And then she also offers $35.00. Um, if you spend $35 and you are from the U.S., she does offer free shipping, which I have taken advantage of that from her store. Um, so I think that is a great deal. And for today's project, I went ahead and decided to make an envelope flip journal or a journal that the main signature is made out of envelopes that you kind of hook together. And then I also added just some pages in between those envelopes so that there would be a good spot to journal. And I was very inspired by Roxy's creations here on YouTube for this. A while back she had posted a video kind of tutorial where she had put together a whole bunch of envelopes and she kind of did it in with some Italian um, Renaissance type papers. And so I do want to thank her for the idea since I watched it and was very inspired. And for my take on it, I went ahead and added also a fabric covered journal that used a base for an envelope, but mine is more of a shabby chic style. And of course I added all sorts of beautiful laces and trims to mine because that's one of my favorite things to do is play with paper and laces and trims. And also in the process, I was going to add two signatures to my journal, but I can't seem to make a skinny journal. And so um, here was the second signature here, and the first one is the one that I sewed in. So this one I am going to add a fabric cover to, and once I've done that, I will show you guys in another video. But I just wanted to show you guys how much fun I had with making these envelopes, journals, and adding laces and trims to them from Kim's shop that I got carried away and they just was no feasible way because I had already kind of pre-made part of the cover that I could fit both signatures in there so I'm just going to make this one into a second one but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek so hopefully you'll come back and check out that video I should have that up next month I am starting to get really busy with work right now so uh, I don't think I'm going to have it done in the next few days or this next week um, to show you but I will have it up next month I promise with that and so the other thing I wanted to show you before I open this journal was a couple embellishment things that I didn't add into the journal um, again Kim sells beautiful embellishments and some of them are these glass cabochons she has different styles she's had some in the past with fairies in them these rose shabby chic ones. She, I think she has some vintage looking ones. She's had some vintage women. And so I took one of those glass cabochons and just added it to a little gold frame I had in my stash, a metal piece, and added a bulb pin, which Kim also carries the gourd or the bulb pins in her shop. And so I was going to hook this on somewhere in the journal, but again, my journal got a little bulky, so I just opted to take it out and then just show you guys that little embellishment idea. And then the other one also that got a little bulky that I was going to add was this one. And again, I used a little bulb pin or a gourd pin and then one of those little ribbon crimps. Either you kind of use them to add ribbons and then make bookmarks out of them. You buy them like in a jewelry section of a big box type store. And so I used that and I housed several of Kim's beautiful trims inside of it and added the little flower. Everything on this came from Kim's shop other than the tool and the little ribbon um, crimp thing. But um, this is a, one of her current laces in her shop. It's a Venice trim and this one is so fun. It's beautiful and I just, it's a dangle trim and I just cut up the piece. It's one of my favorite pieces to make little snippet things like this out of. And then here's another little one. This is a champagne color. This was also a Venice trim. Kim also carries a lot of 
vintage trims whenever she can find them in her store. And this was one of them that I also cut up and used in this little clip. And then I was trying to decide, um, and this also came from a trim from her store. I was also trying to decide if I was going to add a flat back pearl or she carries again lots of fun bling. And I still had this one left over from another design team project because you got two in the set. And so I was going to maybe add that to it. But again, I didn't fully make up my mind because I couldn't add it inside the journal because it was too bulky. But I did want to show you guys that idea of a cute little embellishment you can make using trims from Kim's shop. And so here is my journal. I'm going to hold it up close so you guys can kind of see it. The cover is made with um, material. It's fabric and it was came off of a pillowcase. And then I also sewed on Kim's beautiful trims on top of it. And one layer of it is an envelope as the base. And then I also used a layer of Pellon. And I think I still have that sitting here. It's, this is kind of what it looks like. And again, you buy it at like a big box um, fabric or craft store that sells material. And it's kind of a thick little stiff material, but it makes, makes for really nice covers. And so that's what it's called. And so I had housed that pell on with the envelope. So it's kind of a two layered system in there. And then to go over the beautiful trims, um, I did in my last design team package receive some different trims from Kim and I also received snippets, a snippet bag. She does sell snippet bags, which is really fun. And so I used a lot of those in this journal. And I also used some leftover pieces from past design teams and then also some of the current laces and trims that she sent me. But everything you see on this cover came from her shop at some time or another. And the rosette trim was from my stash. And then this trim right here was some that my mom had gifted me a while back. But if you look up really close up on this trim, this was some vintage trim she had in her store. The champagne colored Venice trim. And then also this vintage trim, which I had used on this little embellishment. That's what that one looked like. Another beautiful trim from her store. And then this one, and she currently has this one I checked. Because I think this one's a really popular one. And I think this one's going to go really fast in her store. A beautiful dangle Venice type trim. And it's very exquisite. It's very soft lace. It's so pretty. And so I was excited to use that on my journal. And so I did end up sewing and gluing these down. I sewed like at the top ends and then also kind of the bottom of each one. And then I used glue on a few like spots just to make sure that it stayed down. And then for my cover a while back, I think around Christmas time, I had received this trim in a design team package and I had a little bit of it left. So I did gather it up to make this little flower. I added another little flower piece, again, a remnant left over from a past design team package from Kim and added to this beautiful piece of bling. And I believe she sells these in sets of four and she has all sorts of fun smaller blings like this in her shop that you can add to the center of flowers. And then also this Venice trim I added underneath and that was also this one right here. But that made kind of a, for a fun cover. And again, I just carried it out all the way through the back side. And for my closure, I just went ahead and added an eyelet into my journal cover and just used some lace for my stash that, like I said, came from my mom as a way to tie it off. And then when you open it up, on the inside, again, trims from Kim's shop. The only thing that wasn't from her shop is this trim right here, this little heart trim that came for my own stash, but I did add a pocket right here. I haven't put anything in it. But that was a fun, beautiful trim that she had in her store. It's kind of a sheer lace with some embroidered details of some little roses. And this type of trim makes fun pockets. And then up here, she had this beautiful vintage trim also in her store. And I had wanted to use it on the cover because it was so pretty on that fabric, but it got lost in 
the composition when I had laid it out so then I just decided to add it on the inside as kind of a little extra embellishment or detail on the inside just so you could see it. It was so pretty with the roses and if when it's, I start going through this I have a lot of paper, digital paper in here that has roses so it matched it beautifully. And so the envelope journal, like I said, the main parts, kind of the front and the back of the signature ha are made with envelopes and I kind of interconnected them so they flip in and out and amongst themselves and then there's paper in the middle. And the digital kit that I used came from Antique Papery and I think it's called Love Paris Kit and I do know that that Etsy store... Um, it's owned by Sherry, and she's kind of doing some revamping, so I don't know that she currently has any digitals in her store right now. I'm not 100% not sure on that, but um, I know a lot of people have bought from Antique Papery in the past. So that is the paper I use, along with some Prima paper scraps and also cardstock and other miscellaneous scraps for my stash. I tried really hard when I was working on this just to use up either the digital collection that I had printed off or scraps from my stash. I tried not to cut up any new sheets. Um, so that was kind of a fun challenge. And then I added Kim's laces and trims to everything and it just set everything off so beautifully. It made this journal from a lovely looking journal to an exquisite journal. And so I started off with a doily from my stash that I've had for a while. And I use that to kind of house the whole, whole thing so you can see it on the back side also. And again, all these pieces right here are envelopes. They all, I did cut them open at somewhere on them so they all will have a journal card in them somewhere, whether it comes out from the top or the side or the back. And so this one I did do some layering with the paper, added some cheesecloth. I have this beautiful trim that came from Kim's shop that I cut up a while ago and then Kim also sells at times antique book pages and so in last month's design team I had received some beautiful German book antique German pages and so I did use them up in these this journal and also this one I don't have any more paper scraps I use every last piece it was such beautiful paper to work with and I'm kind of sad that I don't have any more of it now um and then again, here's the little journal card, and I found it kind of fun on a lot of my journal cards. I took Kim's tr trims, and I sewed them onto the sides, and then when you put them in to the envelopes like this, they kind of stick out, and it made kind of fun. Instead of using, like, paper tabs, I used the trim, and it just looks so pretty sitting on the outside of all these different envelopes. And so that one flips open this way. And then up in the top corner of this one, I just kind of left it. So if you used it as a journal, you could still have a spot to add a picture or you could do some coffee dyed paper with a little note on it or you could gesso it to be able to write on it. But up in the corner, I had used a piece left over from an applique from her shop, some eyelet trim, and then there was another little really small snippet that I had cut off from another project and I just had that little piece left but it just kind of shows you how you can actually use really small pieces in your journal and they go a long way if you were to buy a whole yard of trim. Here again I have this beautiful applique that came from Kim shop. It was cut up. It was left over from a past design team project and I do believe she has a new or another style of pink applique that she just got in her store very similar to this one. And this one had roses on it. And if you check out that beautiful paper right there, that German paper. And on this one, I chose to have the journal card up at the top. And so one side I have the digital paper and the back side I just left plain. And I went ahead and added lace from Kim Shop. And then I had a little piece of um, fabric left over from the cover. So I did tie it off and just add a little embellishment there just so it kind of hangs out when you look at at the the card here it kind of hangs out the top so it looks kind of pretty and then again that flips open and there's some spots to journal there another trim and I got this one from her grab bag that she sent the snippet grab bag and so I think I still have one more piece of this but it was kind of fun again to 
to attach it to the bottom and it just hangs off so it adds another beautiful detail. And this envelope you can either go like this or like this. It flips both ways and fits into the journal nicely. And so it does open up this way then. And so again here's another little spot. I layered some papers and then I made another little ribbon and lace snippet from items from Kim's shop. And there's some eyelash trim and you can see underneath here's a little piece of one of her dangle trims from her shop hanging underneath there. It's kind of fun to layer up those dangle trims. And then up here again I took a little postcard and added a trim with some eyelash behind it and also a piece of the fabric left over from the cover. And when I was picking out my digital papers, I tried to have some that were pretty with the flowers, but I also tried to pick some background ones that you could easily journal on so that there would be journaling space. And then here's a window envelope on this side, and again, part of an applique from Kim Shop. And then she also is carrying some really fun peacock lace in her shop. And it's just a fun dangle. And so I added that to the underneath the window. And let's see, this one does open or up at the top. So here was my journal card for that one. And then what I also tried to do is behind each window, I tried to have something pretty showing, but then if you took it out, there would still be something pretty showing. So I had a piece of scrapbooking paper behind there. And when you open that one up again, I have a spot to journal on and a little embellishment and again I added laces and trims and appliques from Kim Shop behind that. And at the bottom of this page is another trim from Kim Shop. So pretty, I love that one. It, you know it's another sheer lace with the little embroidered flowers on it. And then uh, this one, if you look at the top, I have a journaling card again and I added the eyelet trim and this is vintage eyelet trim and she still has that in her shop. I did look so and I think that one um, she maybe gives two yards out of that one if you purchase that one. I'm not I'm not sure you guys will have to look but it's a fun little it's a perfect little trim for journals. You still get the eyelet trim. A lot of times when you find the eyelet trim it's a lot wider and this one I like just because it was a little bit shorter and it fit nicely into journals. And so again, I just layered some different pieces for that journal card. And I'm just gonna set that in there for now. I'm not gonna set it back in. And so then, um, turning the page, I have like a little CD envelope. And again, I attached a piece of the paper in here. And I thought this was kind of fun because this kit is kind of a French theme kit. But yet I added Kim's German paper in there. And so this is French and German on there. So I thought that was kind of cute that it kind of tied it all together since I had some French stuff in here and some German stuff in here. And up in the corner of this one, I added this little snippet with some eyelet trim. There's some lace from her shop underneath it. And then this little piece that came from one of her trims in the grab bag that I received. But she did have this one, I think, in her store and hopefully maybe she'll get that one back in again. That one was such a fun little trim to work with. And flipping it out, um, again I left this one kind of blank so that there's a journaling spot. But I had added a gold piece from an applique that came from her shop. And this one, I just have kind of a basic journal card in that one. I didn't do anything. I still might go in and add maybe a little lace or something right there. And then we get to the middle of the journal. And so I just added, like I said, lots of pages of um, to write in and also the digital paper. Such pretty paper and it goes so well with Kim's laces. And so I did print on the front and back sides of those ones. I did add tea dyed paper and on all of them I did stencil and I also stamped on most of them and I inked my edges. This one's parchment paper. It's some vintage parchment paper that I've had in my stash for a while. And some vintage ledger paper. Some music paper, which Kim also sells some music paper in her shop, some vintage paper. And my recommendation is if you are using um, this type of paper and it's a little bit older, 
if you can see I used some washi tape right where I folded it just to give it and sewed in my signature just to give it a little extra stability and then I always also glue my washi tape down before um, just because they don't always stick very well. So there's still lots of room to embellish in this journal. And then here was one full sheet of Kim's German paper. I tried in each of the signatures, I did try to add one full sheet. Otherwise, everything else I ripped up and used on different collage pieces in the journal. Then in the middle of this one, again, I added some flower trim that came from her shop and I just tied it off right there inside the journal. And some of the rubber stamps I used, there's like an old PSX one, which is personal stamp exchange. There's some graphic 45 ones. There's a couple Tim Holtz ones. Um, and then I think maybe Seven Gypsies had some of those stamps and then some of them I got at a rummage sale and so I don't know the company name on those but they were all kind of Paris themed or labels ones these ones up here were Fiskars that one I know is Graphic 45 and so then we get back to the back half of the signature which again is all envelopes and Kim, I think, still has this in her shop. I was looking before I recorded today to see what she still had in her shop. But she has some of this cotton trim. It's kind of in a nice ecru or vintage color. So I added that right there. I love this type of trim for journals. I use trim like this quite often. And then up in the corner up here also um, from one of her dangles, I cut the flower off. And then I added separate dangles from another dangle trim behind it. And then there's just a little bit of that pink lace underneath it and some eyelet trim. And then I think I still, I had another piece of, of lace under there too. So there's several pieces of laces and trims on that one. And then when you open up this one, it goes this way. And um, I thought this was really fun. Again, Kim sells some of these tool trims and pleated trims in her store and so I had this one left over from a past design team project one of the Christmas ones I think and this one had the lace and the satin on it but I thought it was so fun to put it off on the sides of the journaling cards so that when you stuck them in you could see it and it just looks so pretty and so shabby with the two the pink and the white right there so that was one of the journal cards and then this one was a postcard again with that vintage eyelet trim up at the top And at the bottom, I hung another piece from Kim's shop a while ago that she had in her shop. And then on this envelope, um, I housed the journal card coming out of the side. And so again, you can see that tool trim that I attached on the side. And I have another little piece of trim from her store behind that little circle embellishment. And again, that just goes into the side there. I just think that's so pretty. And so then this one opens up this way. And again, just a spot to journal. Again, you can see I have one of her dangle trims attached. Just a small piece of it. And it was a big flower one. There was a flower and then a whole bunch of little flowers hanging from it. And this is just one small piece of that. And then the eyelet lash trim underneath it. And then here again is another little snippet cluster. The pink lace and this came off of an applique where I used all the pieces off of it but I even saved these little pieces just for fabric clusters like this or little lace clusters. They just add a little detail and behind it another piece of lace and the eyelet trim. And So then that, that envelope goes that way. And again, Kim carries lots of bridal trims in her store. And so this was one that came off of one of the bridal trims. And I just, since it was kind of pretty on its own with the sequins on it, I went ahead and added eyelash trim behind it. And the journal card up here, just another pink applique that I cut up from her store. 
and then on this envelope it does flip open but you can see a little bit of that pink trim again and so this one opens up this way and I have a little journal card and this one I just put a tiny little piece of lace on it and then right here I thought this was also fun this is what I had used for the pocket right here um, but I had this as a kind of a flip and what I ended up doing with this one because I had already attached my papers and everything but I wanted to sew it down so that it was stable is I went ahead and just took a scrap strip of paper and I sewed it onto that piece of paper which you can kind of see right there and then I glued it down and that just adds just a little extra stability to it so that when you're constantly opening it up you're not going to be ripping any of your papers because it's attached with that little strip and so then you can have this whole spot to journal on so that flips back down again this way and then here is kind of the last pages of that envelope right here and this one had a window on it and then I have the journal card up here and again you can see some of the antique papery paper showing behind there there's some of that beautiful German paper another applique that I cut up from Kim shop and I just did some layering with paper scraps down there and this one was a leftover piece from a Prima paper pad. And so I just layered it up there with the beautiful tool from Kim Shop. And she does have this back in in her shop again. I did check. She get, has it in pink, white, and I think she also got it in purple. I saw a nice pastel purple. And so you can journal right there. And then the whole back side I left blank so that you could also journal. And then this was kind of the last envelope here, big one. And here was another vintage trim from her store that I used on the bottom. And I just kind of hung some eyelash trim to hang out behind that. And then up here I had, had added this little embellishment. There's a piece of lace left over from one of my past design team projects from her store. And also some eyelash trim. And then it looked like I also added some tulle, which I don't think that'll show up on camera. And then my last journal card again here was some trim from her store and also I just did some paper layering and I left this top open so that you could journal on it and then you can journal on the whole back side. So I'm just going to stick that one in there for now. So that kind of wraps itself back up again. And that is my completed journal. I really love how this turned out. It was so much fun to make with the laces and trims and then that paper collection. Um, was really fun to add in with those laces and trims. So hopefully you guys were inspired. And again, if you have not checked out Kim Shop, make sure you guys open up that description box to check out her laces and trims. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting. And of course, I will be back um, next month with this completed journal to show you guys again. It's all laces and trims from Kim Shop. And then I will be adding a fabric cover to it. So um, that's about all I will show you guys for a sneak peek of that one. But again, have a wonderful day and we will catch you guys all later.